two dogs went after a woman in East Lake. It happened on the 3200 block of Fairview Avenue East in Seattle on Friday. According to the city of Seattle, the dogs somehow escaped a nearby vehicle. That is rough to watch. The city does not know the severity of the woman's bites right now. The dogs are in possession of their owner. They will be in a 10 day quarantine, which is a standard precautionary measure. City officials say that the shelter cannot remove the dogs from their home if the owner is cooperative. It should be deemed dangerous and have been euthanized by now. That would have given me, that would help me emotionally. The woman who was badly mauled by two dogs in East Lake more than a week ago is demanding answers. She wants to know when the dog's owner will be held accountable. The 10 day quarantine has ended for the two dogs and tonight we're learning that they will not be returned to their owner, at least not yet. Kamos Jackie Kent is live in Seattle with an update from Animal Control. Jackie? That's right. Well, Amy Craven just went through another medical procedure here at Harborview today to help with some serious injuries to her leg. She's hopeful to get out of here by the end of the week, but still has questions about what could happen to the animals when the investigation is over. Today is day 10 of me not seeing my kids. Amy Craven has reminders of her 11 year old daughter and six year old son in a drawing now hanging from her hospital room at Harborview. She hasn't seen them since the day two pit bull mixed dogs attacked her in her East Lake neighborhood before nearby workers stepped in to help. I'm angry at the negligent dog owner who let her dogs run loose. Today marks the end of the 10 day quarantine that was mandated for those dogs. Seattle Animal Shelter tells us they will stay at the shelter through the investigation because of the severity of Craven's injuries. I'm still in the hospital and can't go home because I have a leg that has exposed tendons hanging out. Animal Control says it could take weeks for investigators to collect and review evidence and interview witnesses. But Craven wants to see action taken now. I think the dog should be euthanized by now. I'm, I'm 10 days into the hospital and can't walk on my leg, have, have to have wound care twice a day. If the city decides to move forward with designating the dogs as dangerous, they can take the dog's owner to court. Potential outcomes include euthanasia or relocating the dogs outside city limits. Craven said she'd like to see the city reevaluate that ordinance, that dangerous dogs shouldn't be allowed to move to another part of the city. If a dog attacks and causes the severity of injuries that I have, those dogs need to be put down. For now, she's focusing on her recovery and counting down to when she can hug her kids again. They're doing as best as they can be. And tonight, an animal control spokesperson just sent me a statement saying it's too early in the, best in the investigation to talk about potential code changes, but they are open to opportunities when it, whenever they can look at reviewing those codes. They also said it's too early to comment on any potential charges the dog's owners may face, but they did note that the dogs do not have any violent history that they're aware of. For now, live in Seattle, Jackie Kent, Como News.